In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Tuesday, the 11th of June, 2024, 10th week in ordinary time. And today we keep the memorial of St. Barnabas. He was a native of Cyprus and was converted to the faith shortly after Pentecost. And after giving up his possessions, he received the name of Barnabas, son of consolation, son of encouragement. Because of his helpful and optimistic nature, he assisted St. Paul in his ministry. And tradition has it that Barnabas was martyred in Cyprus during the 60s. Participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Paul Anave Jr. celebrating his birthday today from Kaduna, Nigeria, takes for us the first reading. Hilda Muganiwa from Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, who celebrates today her 60th birthday text for us the responsorial psalm and proclaiming the gospel is father ivan lumano a selection of don bosco who celebrates his birthday today working in francistown diocese in botswana let us pray O oh God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 11, 21b to 26, and chapter 13, 1 to 3. In those days, a great number that believed turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad. And he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a large company was added to the Lord. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large company of people. And in Antioch, the disciples were for the first time called Christians. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Nigger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod the Tetrad, and Saul, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms 98, verses 1, 2 to 3 AB, 3 CD to 4, 5 to 6, and the response is taken from Psalms 98, verse 2 B. The response is, The Lord has shown His deliverance to the nation. The Lord has shown His deliverance to the nations. Or oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nation. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has shown his deliverance to the nation. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth from the house of Israel. 
The Lord has shown his deliverance for the nation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing out your praise. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nation. Sing psalms to the Lord to the harp, with the harp and the sound of the song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Raise a shout before the King, the Lord. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nation. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always to the close of the age. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 10, verses 7 to 13. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Preach as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You received without pay, give without pay. Take no gold, no silver, no copper in your belts, no bag for your journey, no two tunics, no sandals, no a staff, for the laborer deserves his food. And whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it and stay with him until you depart. As you enter the house, salute it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to emphasize something that the memorial we are having today is an obligatory memorial. Meaning that we take also the readings from the memorial. We have had so many memorials where we would remember a saint and we will just mention the saint at the beginning, but would not take the readings that are connected to that saint. But when it comes to Barnabas, oh, this is more like a feast. We want to celebrate a man who teaches us a lot of lessons on how to live our lives as believers. He was a well-to-do man who actually didn't see his wealth as something to cling to, as something to just boast about like many of our believers. No. He did not display his wealth on TikTok for others to see how much he has. He, this man, gave out his wealth because he was a son of encouragement. He distributed his goods and dedicated his life to the preaching of the gospel because he understood that nothing is greater than serving God in this world. Am I asking you to do the same? No, I'm not asking you to do that. At the same time, I'm not asking you to display whatever you have when you are not sharing what you have. Yes. There are people who come out on social media. They want to show the new expensive car they have bought and they display that to the world. So what? If you are not a human being able to share what you have, you are nothing. I'm telling you, just a selfish individual. Go and live in another world. Live this world and go and live in a world that has only you. But if you are a Barnabas, a son of encouragement, a daughter of encouragement, you are going to show that whatever you have, 
You have that because you are in this world. And since you have that because you are in this world and you are not alone, share what you have. I am so grateful to so many Barnabases who came out last month in big numbers to respond to our fellow brothers and sisters who have been victims of the devastating floods in East Africa, especially in Kenya. Thank you so much for being Barnabases. And you are Barnabases not because you are too much. No. You are Barnabases because you understood that your life depends on others. That if you keep to yourself what you have and you never share, you won't realize the reason why God gave you what you have here on earth. He gave you that because you are in this world. He gave you that because he wanted you to be of help to others who may need that help. I'm also grateful to all those who showed their solidarity with the people of Francistown Diocese when we lost our bishop, the humble man of God who passed on in the service of the Lord while celebrating Mass in the village. Before he could even finish that mass, God told him on 4th of May 2024, come and continue that mass, that Eucharistic celebration up here in heaven where there are so many Barnabases. I want us to look at this memorial of Barnabas today as a feast that converts us to one another, that helps us to become like this man. Look at this passage we read today, I don't know if you really followed the words. The gospel passage of today tells us of the commissioning of the apostles. Jesus said to them, preach as you go. That's a commission of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a command, preach as you go. And how do we preach as we go? We preach by our actions. Let people know we are Barnabases. Let people know from the way we extend our hand to help them that we are Barnabases. Preaching is not just uttering words. Preaching is done in action. Whereas believers, we are able to respond to the needs of our fellow human beings to show them love. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Tuesday to you, and happy memorial of St. Barnabas. Thanks be to God.